You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Celebrity Crime. In today's episode, we go into the dark past of one of our favorite rappers gone actor, Will Smith. Before we get into it, remember to like and subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification button so you don't miss any episodes. Now, let's dig in. Willard Carroll Smith, famously known as Will Smith, was born in Pennsylvania on September 25, 1968. He had an attractive personality from childhood and was nicknamed Prince Charming. Will Smith later changed his nickname from Prince Charming to Fresh Prince when he got into hip-hop and started the show Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Besides his actor and rapper image, he is also quite shady and always overreacts without thinking for a second. A few months back, during the Oscars, he slapped comedian Chris Rock. Will Smith left millions of spectators shocked when he marched straight onto the stage and smacked Chris directly in the face after he made a light joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, Will's wife. Chris Rock was headed to the stage to present the award for the best documentary feature. However, he suddenly said that Jada Pinkett, Will Smith's wife, got ready to film a sequel to G.I. Jane, referencing her shaved head. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. It's not a secret that Jada has always been open about her hair loss due to alopecia. The funniest part here is that when Chris Rock cracked a joke about Will's wife, he laughed openly, but when Jada gave him that death stare, his reaction changed abruptly. When Will returned to his seat after slapping Chris, he yelled, saying, Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. The police department of Los Angeles said they were all aware of the incident that took place. However, they were not investigating the matter because Chris Rock declined the police's offer to file a report against Will Smith. The defense lawyer and a former Los Angeles County prosecutor, Alan Jackson, said that police could actually open an investigation based on Academy Awards broadcast. However, they would never do it without Chris Rock's participation. The Los Angeles defense lawyer said, would they ever in a practical world do that when Chris Rock is I won't cooperate with a criminal investigation, not in a million years. When Chris Rock stepped back from the matter, it clearly indicated that Will Smith would not get charged for his action. This is actually coming out like a celebrity play. What do you think would happen if someone who hadn't been a public figure committed such an act? The security would kick that person out of the awards show immediately and file criminal complaints. However, since this was done by a famous actor and rapper, no one can say anything. Even Chris Rock isn't taking any action. A criminal defense lawyer, Allison Tracel, said that she would be surprised if the city attorney did not seriously consider it since the act was so public. Allison further questioned, are they sending the wrong message if they don't prosecute? According to her, not charging Will Smith conveys a clear message that people can commit crimes and won't be punished for their acts. If Smith had been charged for his actions, he would have definitely faced a misdemeanor battery count. For those who don't know, the misdemeanor battery count carries a penalty of around six months in jail. Even though a case would be convicted and prosecuted, there would be alternatives going to court, leading the penalty to be light. A retired deputy chief of the Los Angeles Police Department shared his words regarding the issue, saying that the case could be open. But Los Angeles Police Department did not waste the resources, since Chris Rock apparently didn't have any injury or was hyped up enough to file the case. In his words, Rock carried on as if nothing happened to him. He didn't even put a hand on his cheek. There didn't appear to be an injury. If he had knocked him to the floor and rendered him unconscious, I think actions could have been taken. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. A day after Will Smith slapped the comedian on stage during the awards show, the actor uploaded an apology post on Instagram, calling his action inexcusable and unacceptable. But he also said that he couldn't bear anything about his wife's medical condition. And I would say that a sorry with but isn't a sorry. This is not the first time that Will Smith lost his cool and got into trouble. Before he was a Hollywood star, he ordered his bodyguard to attack William Hendricks, 
when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, the public and officials also questioned his previous acts of violence. MTO News claimed that back in 1989, Smith was also part of another assault, where a man lost his one eye, and that poor man was no one but William Hendricks. The file reported by police 25 years ago says that Will Smith was involved in a verbal conflict with William Hendricks, his record promoter. When this verbal dispute was raised, Smith ordered his bodyguard, named Charles Mack, to attack the record promoter. Hendricks claimed that his left eye orbit was fractured. He was even hospitalized for a long period and had six stitches. At the time, Will was arrested and charged with aggravated assault, recklessly endangering another person, simple assault, and criminal conspiracy. Fortunately for the movie star, the case was dropped, although Smith had to spend one night in jail. Will said his short prison stay was the worst night of his life for him. He wants to remove that night from his memory since all the jail inmates kept him awake, asking for autographs. Despite the rough criminal past that Will has, what do you think of him? Don't forget to drop your opinions about Will Smith in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. See you guys soon in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye